Karen Britton. I'm a yoga instructor at the Fitness Incentive. And today I'd like to talk to you about some common myths with yoga and meditation. One of the most common things I hear is, I can't do yoga, I'm not flexible enough. That's like saying I'm not strong enough to lift weights, or I'm not in shape to go to the gym. Going to the gym and lifting weights will make you stronger, it'll tone you, you'll, be, you'll get in shape. Just like yoga, will do all of those things and many more. Yoga will increase flexibility, it'll help your posture, it detoxes and heals the body, it strengthens and it tones, and so much more. So remember, you don't have to be flexible to do yoga. Yoga will make you flexible. When you're in yoga, you focus on two things, a focal point, which we call dristi, and the breath. And you are aware of the sensations in the body and the thoughts, but you're not caught up. This leads us into the next thing, meditation. What are some of the myths in meditation? One of the most common things I hear is, I can't meditate because I can't empty my mind or I can't stop the thoughts. Well, meditation will help you to relax the mind. It's not about emptying the mind. It's not about stopping the thoughts. We can't stop the wave of thoughts. That's like telling the ocean to stop waving. What meditation does, it tells us and helps us to relax with the thoughts, not to get caught up, but just be aware. There's a big difference between being caught up in thoughts and being aware of thoughts. Meditation start off simply. Just close your eyes and focus on your breath. And every time the mind wanders, you notice it, you're aware of it, you let it go and return back to the breath. Now each time you do that, that's one rep to strengthen the mind. Just like when you lift weights, each rep strengthens the muscle. So don't beat yourself up too much. When the mind wanders, let it go and simply return back to the breath. And with this practice, you'll learn to rise above the thoughts, relax with those thoughts, and think of meditation as your reset button to help you come back to that place of peacefulness so you can think clearer, you can relax. Some of the benefits of meditation is it reduces anxiety, stress, lowers the blood pressure, and so many more things. All you need to do is sit comfortably. You don't want to lay down or sit in a lounge chair or recline a chair. You just want to sit upright and close your eyes and focus in on the breath. So remember, yoga, you do not need to be flexible. It will make you flexible. Meditation, you don't need to empty the mind or stop the thoughts. It'll teach you to relax with the thoughts, to create awareness. Namaste. In this video, I'll demonstrate a yoga posture called Warrior Three. This posture will increase your flexibility. It'll help you gain strength and tone the body. It strengthens the shoulders, it strengthens the back, the spine, the gluteal muscles, shapes and tones those muscles, the hamstrings, the calves, and the ankles, great for the hips. Also will improve concentration. You can modify the pose. You can use a chair for balance. Arms out to T. Extend your left leg back. Modify, keep the toes on the floor. You can lift that leg to your degree, 50% or parallel to the floor. Back of the head stays in line with the point, with the spine. Focus on one point and breath. You want to challenge, bend the knee, press out through the heel. Inhale, come up and exhale back to your mountain pose. Integrate to breath and body. Namaste.